Hi, welcome back. Um, one of the things that we do need to remember because you are doing a lot of importing here, um, sometimes you may get the frustration of uh, you're trying to import a file and it's not able to find it. A um, couple of reasons for that. That's really what this uh, segment is tra trying to address. Uh, when a module name spam, we haven't actually uh, created spam here, but I just want to, using this uh, figurative speaking or as an example, uh, when a module name spam is imported, the interpreter first search for a built-in module with that name. If, cannot, if it can't find that, uh, then it search for a file name spam.py. In a list of directories given by the variable sys.py, uh, whereby sys.path sys is initialized from these locations. What are these locations? Um, the directory containing the input scripts, uh, or the current directory when no file is specified, Python path, basically a list of directory names with the same syntax as well as the shell variable path, and also the installation dash dependent default. So basically all of these are predefined. If it's not, uh, then you will get an error. Uh, now on file system which supports symlinks, which are Linux or Mac OS, the directory containing the input script is calculated after the symlink is followed. In other words, the directory containing the symlink is not added to the module search path. Now after initialization, Python programs can modify this uh, syspath. The directory containing the script being run is placed at the beginning of the search path, ahead of the standard library path. This means that scripts in that directory will be loaded instead of modules of the same name in the library directory. So just understand that there is a possibility of this uh, uh, quirky behavior um, if you actually or should you decide to modify this is dot path. Uh, one of the way is to actually just you know run uh, this is dot path just to see what's actually um, you know what kind of path can you access. All right, so that's pretty much uh, all that I want to cover. Uh, for this uh, module search path, uh, some of the probably the best way is to actually place it in the same directory. But if you want to actually uh, keep it a little bit tidier, you want to put your um, utility modules or supporting modules in a separate uh, so called folder, you can uh, access it as well uh, by putting the folder name dot the file name. So let me just show you before we end this. Um, so let's just say I have this folder here. Okay, so we are right now in this uh, folder called uh, feeble.py, well with feeble.py, test.py and also rem. Okay, and don't worry about the this uh, Dunder file name here. Uh, rem is a folder, as you can see this is actually a folder here. Now uh, within rem there is actually another file uh, called re remem.py. Uh, what does remem do? Remem basically have very simple line, one variable defined, please remember me, and then print the uh, value of, uh, of name out. Now if you want to import uh, remem.py, how do you actually do that? So let's just run a simple IPython uh, interpreter. So in order to re import remem, this is what you need to do. You need to actually type the folder name and followed by the file name. Okay, when you've done that, you run that, what you get is actually, please remember me. And uh, you should actually have, well, name is not defined, so let's just see if remi dot dot. Okay, so you get that. All right, you can actually access the name that's been defined. As soon as you import it, you actually have the name or the value that is in a uh, name being printed out. So that's really how you import it. So you import the folder name dot by the file name. Okay, so that's really the end of this segment here on module search path. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.